Married man, does your wife belong to you? That is the topic that we're getting into in this video. This will be fun. We're going to be reacting to Shannon Sharp's podcast where he has Steve Harvey on to talk about this topic. I guess Steve Harvey at some point made a comment about his wife belonging to him mm -hmm. and social media did what social media does. So we're going to get our thoughts on this topic. But before we do, do us a quick favor. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to the like. channel, hit that notification bell. So let's check this out. Other than your relationship with God, who you choose to spend the rest of your life with is the single most important decision you will ever mm. make. Mm. Because your other half will either, will either, uh, uh, your other half will be your better half or make you half of what you could be. Jeez. She will either inspire you to greatness or reduce you to mediocrity. And then at the end of it, he said, so choose wisely. And that was the first time, man, that I'd ever chose wisely. And it, it was the best thing. Because a, a woman like an elevator button, man, they can take you up or down. If you get the right one, you got something. Mm -hmm. You get the wrong one, but it's like a man to a woman. If you get the right man, you can go somewhere. Right. You get the wrong man, you all. Do you know that it's our job to take care of a woman and some children, to have a family? That's our job. But what happens to the, when the woman tell you, I don't need a man, Steve? Well, they need to work. Okay, if you don't, how that's working? <laughs> <laughs> you know, how, how, okay. how that's working? Who don't need no man? I'm independent. I can do for myself. Yeah, but why do you want to? I like his voice. Yeah, okay, you can drop a transmission. You can sandblast your house. Yeah, if somebody could get out there and drop this transmission for you and sandblast your house, why don't you go get your nails done? I'm not trying to reduce a woman to nothing else. Be all you can be. But who don't need a man? That's a lie. What man don't need a woman? I tell you what. I tell you, you what. <laughs> I tell you what. Try to live without them. Try to live your life without women. This ain't about lot of man. This is without women. If it wasn't for women, what would you? Aristotle Onassis said it best. He said, if women did not exist, all the money in the world would have no meaning. <laughs> Dog, women is Ish. everything. They the cats me out. They the lick, man. But these young boys done forgot it because these women out here, they trying to be, they've had to be independent because they ain't got the right man. Okay. But this system of marriage is still good. Okay. This system of a man taking care of a woman, that's really how it's supposed to be. All the rest of us, man. And y'all need to quit tricking yourself with this new way of thinking. Because there's no way of thinking, this new way of thinking ain't getting y'all nowhere. I'm sorry. I got in trouble on, the, on one time this group came after me because I said Marjorie belonged to me. And they said she's not a possession. She's a person. She's a human. She is. She mine. Mm. What <laughs> is you talking about? <laughs> she belonged to me. But I got news for you. I'm hers. I belong to her. See, if you, if you don't like that system, carry your punk ass on. Go do something else. Jeez. And let me know how that work out for you. I want to belong to somebody. Right. I want somebody to belong to me. He not playing I take game, care of my though. wife and my family. You know, we got to talk about it. I'm going to let you open yeah, it up. What me, you got to say? Let me talk about this. Okay. So he touched on like a few different things, right? Mm -hmm. And the first thing I'm going to hit on is, you know, first of all, does your wife belong to you? Okay. So first of all, Steve was really serious. Like, you know, he's known for being a comedian. He really was. He really wasn't. Like he was, you know, here and there what he was saying was funny, but he wasn't playing no games. I was like, oh, Okay. So I'm going to have to say I agree with Steve mm. because of his explanation. He did yeah. a great job explaining what he meant by that. And you know, on our channel, we're coming from a Christian perspective. And so according to the Bible, right, when we get in marriage, well, first of all, even when we're not in marriage, we are not our own, right? Mm -hmm. We belong to God. Yep. And so then we become married, right, and we become one flesh. Yes, he is mine. I am his. And the funny thing is, is that a lot of women, when they're not even married yet, mm -hmm. they have no problem saying, that's my man. Yep. And so, and women be like, I heard that. And they make sure, or like, you know, we do all these different things. They say they leave stuff over the man's house on purpose Sheesh. so that people who come over there know that he belongs to her. Mm -hmm. So I will say, how does that look, the fact that people are in uproar? about Steve Harvey saying the same thing. And that's actually his wife. He actually provides for his wife and his family. So I ain't gonna lie, Steve was preaching this time. Yeah. I'm... <laughs> <laughs> like, I can't even argue with it. I'm like, okay, let him know, Steve. Yeah. I got a question for you, Cammie. What? Did you know that over 50% of the people that watch our videos are not subscribed? Uh, what y'all own? <laughs> so do us a quick favor. Make sure you hit that subscribe button yes. and hit that notification bell so you don't miss on any notification or future videos that we put out. I don't always agree with Steve. He's not a reputable person when it comes to talking about God. He did a whole video where he was 
I embrace all religion type stuff. So mm. I'm not giving him credibility as someone that is like the best interpreter of like what biblical marriages and all of that stuff. But mm-hmm. he said some truthful things in this. And the one thing I really want to hit on that you were talking about was I just feel like we're in such a world now where like people just take every little thing you say and they're putting in a hidden agenda to it or it's some type of reflection of toxic patriarchy. It automatically want to look at it from the worst perspective. Yeah, you're assuming that this person and she belongs to me in like a negative domineering type, controlling, like object, the animal, abusive, all of that. Like that yeah. Instead of just looking at it from the standpoint of complementarianism, which has really been, and it's common in most societies and has been really like, you would say like the bedrock of America, in a sense, when That's it comes my to relationships. Wife. She has Nuclear my family. name. Mm-hmm. Okay, her last name is Harvey. That's his stamp. That's his label. You know what I'm saying? When people go see her, they're going to mm-hmm. think about him. Yes. Yeah, I've never heard of her before. You know, they were married. Who is she? <laughs> I don't know. But I think, oh, that's Steve Harvey's wife. So, yeah, she belonged to him. Yeah. And that's the thing. People want to play, like, some people don't like language now. Now, all of a sudden, you know, words are just so hurtful. And, like, even intent doesn't matter now. You can't say that your wife... And I, what I love is, you're right, he made a very clear distinction. He said, I belong to her, too. Mm-hmm. And in this case, yeah, Scripture is on his side where it would say, you know, it talks about, like, you know, becoming one flesh with the person that you marry. It talks about how, you know, your body is not your own. There's a shared aspect that comes along the way with marriage where you're no longer just, it's not just you. Mm-hmm. It's not saying like ownership, like slavery, like no. people that try to twist these type of things into like slavery and things like that yeah, that's are, gross. again, victims of modern feminism, modern womanhood, where it's all about independence. And they talked about it in there as like, you know, mm-hmm. being an independent woman. Let me just put this out there. I have no issue with women to a certain extent, depending on the place they are in life, having independence, having independence. I have no issue with women desiring to be able to take care of themselves before getting married Mm -hmm. or getting into a relationship. I do think that in this world that we live in, we do need self-sufficient women. We do need women that can't hold their own if they have to be, you know, go through seasons of that, especially when they're single before they find someone. That's cool. The issue with the independent woman type of talk is, I don't need a man. What do you mean by that? See, we could play the same game where you're talking about, oh, she does. your wife doesn't belong to you. I don't need a man. What are you saying by you don't need a man? It's just you can flip that same thing on it where it's like, oh, I don't need a man. Who's saying like you need a man to live? Obviously, you're alive without a man. Men, a man doesn't necessarily have to complete you, but I do believe that in marriage, both are to compliment each other and that some being in a relationship compliments you. And then if mm-hmm. we go to the Bible, Eve was a help meet to Adam. And that is generally the view we carry when it mm-hmm. comes to marriage is like you have the opportunity to be a help meet to an individual that you get you choose to marry. I think that's an awesome privilege to have. We're talking about vision now. We're talking about something that is bigger than even you now. We're talking about building a family. We're talking about building something bigger than just the, even the husband. It's just building on a name that's going to carry out generation throughout generation mm-hmm. as we continue to progress as humans. It's like we're, con- we're progressing the legacy. So mm-hmm. I just think it's a lot to it. Feminism has made, has taken real issues that existed and may have elements of it that still rear their head. But it's like it's taken those elements and distorted all type of male and female dynamics to the point where everything just is so uh, hostile toward each other when Here's we're trying to bring unity. Though. Mm-hmm. Here's the last thing. So I agree with that. I love the first quote. It was great. Whatever he paraphrased of it. Now the Aristotle one, let's bring it back real quick. <laughs> okay. So he was saying that Aristotle said in his own words that basically without women, all the money in the world or whatever would have no, like there's no reason to live basically is what he was saying. If I'm not mistaken. Mm-hmm. And my thing is, okay, now that's taking a little far because again, as a man and woman of God, right? Even if it didn't work out with us, right? This marriage is over, things like that. I'm still going to serve God because I still got him and he's my Lord and Savior. Right. And I know the same is for you. And so I do want to say that it's not that there's no point of living without a woman, right? We're not going to go as far as to say that. But yeah. we're going to say that 
God has ordained it so that, right. you know, all of us, if not most of us, can get married and find that person mm-hmm. who can compliment us in our marriage ministry and what God has for us to do. Point blank. No, period. I think that's a fair pushback. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think I think where him referencing that, and this is just kind of how I took it, mm-hmm. was a lot of what, and let me give you this perspective, a lot of what men do is because of women. <laughs> It's, that's where he's coming from. He's like, show off. he's like the way guys dress, a lot of the way mm-hmm. guys carry themselves, the the drive that a man may have to become successful is because he wants a woman at some point. He wants to have a wife at some point. It makes a lot of sense if you look at it from that perspective where it's like yeah. a lot of the decisions that men make are centered on wanting a woman or mm-hmm. wanting to be attractive to a woman, woman which is not wrong. Yeah. And I do think uh, that I think that's more so where he was probably coming from sure. on that. But no, that doesn't mean women are the single. Obviously, God, Jesus, yeah. is the most important thing to us. And everything flows to make from that. that. Caveat. I agree. I think that's where yeah. he was. Again, we're not like that's why you know this isn't a this isn't an endorsement of Steve Harvey. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I think from that perspective, if you if you from that lens, I think it makes sense. Where it's like, yeah, a lot of what we do as men does tend to like in one way or another is going to flow back to yeah. our relationship with women, whether it's protecting women, whether it's uh, being able to be a provider, mm-hmm. all of these different things. Like, yeah, we he work was talking that. about it. <laughs> yeah, he, and I would say, I love that say. Shannon Sharp was, you know, mm-hmm. hearing what he had to say about it, because, you know, he said, and we talked about it, yeah. how he has all this fame and things, mm-hmm. but he wants somebody to share it with. Yeah, and he didn't understand that yeah. at first. I mean, he mm-hmm. uh, was he so said when he was young, yeah. Mm-hmm. Those are our thoughts on this. We hope you all enjoyed this conversation. Yes. Leave a comment. Let us know your thoughts before you head out. Make sure. Like this video. Hit the thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell.